So um, what I'm going to be doing today is doing something a little bit different. I want to show you guys how to true your stirlock to your ballistics of your rifle. And um, because if you're using a chronograph to get data and try and match that with your stirlock, you might sometimes run into trouble. So it's quite important that you have the right data when you get started with these things. So I'm going to be cutting to, to my phone and to the workshop to show you guys sort of how I go about getting the correct data. But probably the most crucial bit of information, um, excuse the wind if it's a little bit windy out here. The crucial bit of information is how high the center of your scope is off the center of your rifle's bore. And uh, once you've got that, you're pretty much in the game. But now if you're using velocities that you're, that you're getting either from Somchem's website or you're reloading um, your powder manufacturer's guideline, it's gonna get you in the ballpark. Um, and what I wanna show you guys today is how I then go about matching the, the bullet drop to, to my actual ballistics app and we're going to be doing that by finding the farthest target you can. Mm. Wonderful. Welcome back to the workshop. Before we start sending lead down range, we need to make sure we have the correct information in our ballistics calculator to get good data. So I'm going to be using Strelok Pro for the purposes of this video and um, I quite like Strelok because it gives you the ability to search reticles and search from their predetermined bullet database which is really nice, saves you a bit of time. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the app. Okay, so this is the screen you're going to be greeted with. What I'm going to do now is just change rifle and hit the plus sign at the bottom and say this is going to be our new test vid. Okay, and say return. Okay. First things first, you need to enter the twist rate of your rifle. So this, my rifle is a 6.5 Creedmoor 1 in 8. Um, then with the 24 inch barred line barrel, I'm going to go into the scope option and um, my zero distance is at 100 meters. The next thing that's very crucial for this, the purpose of this video is to make sure we have the correct scope height measurement. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how we get that and um, then we'll get back to some of the other variables. So you're going to be needing some digital characters for that and the main thing you want to be doing is you want to get the center of your optic to the center of your rival's bore. In other words, the center of your barrel to the center of your optic and that will determine how, how, your, how high your optic is off the center of your rifle bore. And that's going to help Sturlock do its magic or your ballistics calculator do the magic. So digital calipers, for me I quite like using the center of my rings where they get together. First, I'm going to use this line there and this line here on my actions. On some rifles, there's actually a little hole here at the front um, to indicate the center of your bore. Right, so there we have it. It's very important you do this measurement in inches. So mine is 2.045 inches. So let's jump back into the app and let's put in that measurement. So I had um, scope height in inches is 2.045. 2.045 inches, done. Okay, so my scope height is in um, my optic. Let, now I'm gonna change the scope units. Okay, so my scope is in MRAD um, and the reticle is in the first focal plane, correct? Every click for my optic is not 0.25 MRAD because that's for, for MOA, because it's a quarter of MOA per click. Mine is 0.1 mole. Okay, so it's quite important you enter that. So the reticle is pretty cool what Sterlog allows you to do. You can actually search your scope in this. So I know I have the Vortex AMG EBR uh, 7 something. Vortex Razor uh, EBR 7, boom. So that's gonna give me my scope um, and it's gonna give me a nice layout of my reticle too. We need save. So now that we have our optic all set up and the height over bore, we need to put in the information of what bullet we'll be shooting. So we're gonna exit out of the scope menu and go into this menu over here. Scroll down to the bottom. I'm gonna hit the G7 bullet database. As I said, this is a 6.5 Creedmoor. I'll be shooting the six, uh, 140 grain burger hybrid targets and we'll be able to find those. So make sure you have your bullet diameter selected. So the 6.5 mil bullet is actually 0 0.264 inches. Um, and I'm gonna go vendor, burger, and this is gonna put me in the zone to quickly find the hybrid target, which is over there. Yes, load that bullet information. And now all of my information for that specific bullet is already in the ballistic calculator. Okay, so now that I have the bullet information all set in, the only other thing I really need to change here 
um, is put in my estimated speed. So I know roughly I'm running my 6.5 Creedmoor at about 2,800 feet per second. And I'm just gonna put that in, whoops, 2,800, done. And at this measurement, I'm gonna just put in 2,800 again. Um, and put that in, for, at the moment it's about 20 degrees outside. Okay, so my bullet speed is saved at 2,800. Um, and now we're gonna hit save, head back to the range, do some shooting and I'm gonna jump back into the app and show you guys how to true the actual ballistics down to what your rifle's doing. I've got a target out at 766 meters. So that's gonna be the furthest target I can shoot from this position today. Um, and that's plenty to, um, to get a good enough um, estimation. So first of all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the data into Strelok. Um, preferably, you wanna be finding a target of something behind it that if you miss, you can track where you've hit that bullet. Um, and then we'll be making corrections based on that. So keep in mind, at 766 meters, the wind's gonna be a factor. So out here today, there's a little bit of wind. Uh, I'm probably gonna be holding about a half a mil off the left edge, and uh, that should get me in the zone. So let's crack off the first round and, um, and see where we hit. And based on that information, I'm gonna be adjusting my rifle until I actually have the correct elevation. And then we'll jump into Strolock and I'll show you guys how to do that ballistic crewing. Yeah. Okay, so I've quickly set up the phone scope to give you guys an idea of um, where I'll be impacting. So let's get some rounds in this magazine. I'm shooting 140 grain burgers as usual. And uh, I love these. So let's chuck in five and see where we go. So I think I've got five. Cycle that ball back, put an empty in. And um, okay, that's fine. All right, ears. So I'm gonna send the first one, check where it lands and um, make an adjustment based on that. So there's a giant cloud just about to roll over where we're gonna be shooting to. So. You wanna be ideally doing this out of a prone position to have your most stable position possible. Um, so let's go ahead, I've, my um, initial estimation is 6.1 mils, um, so I'm going to dial 6.1 mil and I'm probably going to hold about 0.7 MOA based on the current wind condition. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay, I didn't see anything, so I'll send another one. Okay, so that hit left and slightly high. So let me send another one. And I'm gonna hold about 0.3 low. And dead center, I think the wind is actually switching on us a little bit. Let's send another one. Okay, so that was pretty much in the middle of the target, maybe a tad too high, but I mean, it's within about two centimeters, centimeters off the center of that target. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got 5.8 as, um, as my needed dial. So we're gonna jump into Strelog now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the, that data now. So we know at this range, which is next to the, um, next to the West Coast Road, uh, it's basically at sea level that for this rifle and this load, I only need 5.8 mils to hit at 766 meters. Okay, so now that we know we need 5.8 mils to hit at 766 meters, we can jump into the uh, trajectory calculation, uh, which is found in the main menu of Strelok. And to access that, you can exit out of the setup menu, you'll be greeted with the home screen on the right here. And um, you need to hit this sort of arrow thing that goes into the target. This is the calculation menu. So we're gonna put in the distance, which was 766, which was already in there, okay? 
Keep in mind that this day, I didn't have a load zero to my rifle, so I was shooting about 0.5 mil high. So this number we're gonna get at the end here is probably gonna be a little bit off. Um, but I had to dial 5 point, oops, I had to dial 5.8 mils to hit at 766. I'm gonna hit calculate. It's gonna give me a muzzle velocity of 2,424 feet per second. Now, as I said, that's gonna be a little bit low, but bear in mind, I had a 0 0.5 mil zero offset to start this off with. So I'm gonna hit use this speed, and that's gonna, and if I hit calculate again now, it's gonna say at 766, I need 5.8 moles. That's basically how we threw a ballistic app. It's pretty simple. Now bear in mind of something like this, is it's garbage in, garbage out. So if you put in quality information, you're gonna get a quality result out. And um, keep in mind, my zero offset was, was a little bit off there. So my speed's gonna be low, but your speed should be very accurate for the current conditions. Now, if you're shooting long range, you ideally wanna be doing this every morning before you go out, find a far target, make sure you have the ballistic setup. And uh, with the right information, you can do incredible things. What happens next was a one take thing. So I'm gonna jump back into the tape and play this race of the bit out. But I never ever tried this before in my whole life. And uh, I think the results speak for themselves. Enjoy. Now can I get it taken? With the right information in your rifle, you should be able to hit a target all the way at 766 meters without actually being on the rifle. Let's find out. Impact. <laughs> Was it wrong? <laughs> so, I actually just had to review the footage because um, that was the first time I've ever tried free recoiling a rifle. Um, and at 766 meters, that's not exactly close. So um, it shows you guys, if you have the right information, you can do incredible things with, with rifles. And this is a high-end custom rifle, but it can be a Hauer um, 65 Creedmoor or a 308 will give you the exact same um, result as that. Uh, the main thing was here I had to set it up and hold off for a little bit of wind. But with the right information in your in your ballistic calculator, you can be super accurate at long range and long range shooting shouldn't be that difficult. What makes our PRS type shooting difficult is the barricades and the stuff and that's what makes it fun. Um, now, it's very important with this, with this information and if you have your rifle set up correctly, that you don't do unethical stuff like I, I hit a target about the size of a dinner plate at six, 766 meters now without even looking through my optic or being on my rifle and it just recoiled into nothing. I still wouldn't feel comfortable shooting an animal beyond 300, maybe 400 meters. But that's personally just me because I want to make an ethical shot at any point in time. So don't use this information and do stupid stuff, guys. Um, let's respect the animals we hunt. So I was actually blown away that I hit that free recoil shot on the very first time I've ever tried it. After that I made a little separate video where I actually do the whole thing with one take um, to just show that, it, that it's repeatable also, it wasn't luck. Uh, that'll come out in the next few weeks. If you found this video beneficial at all, please tag three of your friends. I'm trying to grow the page to 10,000 by the end of the year. We're sort of tracking for that, which I'm super excited for. The Kiana rifle is going to be giving away pretty soon. I've got some cool stuff coming up with Bulletproof. Um, gear that I can't wait to show you guys. Um, the videos come out on YouTube a day or two before they hit Facebook, so link below, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you like what I'm doing at all, please share this video, like it, go crazy. As always guys, go out there, shoot your stuff, be safe, and thanks for watching. That thanks for watching was super demolition rants. I'm sorry Matt. <laughs>